things like CO2 pipelines, uh, water quality issues are huge for us this year. We've also got manure management uh, and then also some renewable siting work that we're uh, excited about as well. So although CURE is not just a water organization anymore, there's a great slate of water bills, water priorities that we're really proud to support. Things that include manure management grants, nitrate and PFAS testing, and then a public waters inventory bill. One of the big issues facing the energy transition and also rural communities is how we get transmission projects accomplished so that we can get renewable energy from where it's created to where it's needed. We are really working to ensure that all communities have meaningful opportunities to engage with these processes and to make sure their communities benefit directly from these projects. We can't leave rural folks, rural communities out of those discussions about where renewables are cited, how energy is getting to folks who need it. Um, we just can't leave rural people out of those discussions. November will have a really significant election, not just for president, but also for members of the Minnesota House. And this will be everyone's chance to weigh in on who they would like to have representing them. 